My name is Marcus Conte. My name is Marcus Conte. Reporting. Check this shit out, man. So, uh, so Trump is defending the wall. It's all more wall, more of the time. That's the news right now. It's all wall, all of the time. Uh, so Trump is uh, officially declaring a state of emergency. Emergency funds must be allocated to build the wall, to keep out illegals, to, to lessen child trafficking and women trafficking at the border, violent criminals, drugs pouring into our border. It's an emergency. Right? So that's what Trump said today, right? So Trump's out on the Oval Office, uh, out on the lawn, beautiful day in D.C., and uh, so he threw out. A, he got he got challenged by by the fake media, right? First, I think it was ABC. First, it was CNN. Then ABC followed up. But this is this is pretty interesting. Now let's let's listen to it and talk about it. Because your question is a very political question. Because you have an agenda. Your CNN. Your fake news. You have an agenda. Uh, the numbers that you gave are wrong. Take a look at our federal prison population. See how many of them percentage-wise, are illegal aliens. Just see. Go ahead and see. It's a fake question. Yes, go ahead. Can I ask yeah. a follow-up? Thank you, Mr. President. Just to follow up on that, unifying uh, crime reporting statistics, numbers from your own Border Patrol, numbers from this government show that the amount of uh, illegal immigrants are down. There is not violence on the border, and that there's most not violence on the there's border? not as much violence oh, really? as. Let me, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, people let me finish the killed. question, please. Let me finish the question. Two weeks please. ago, twenty-six people were killed I in a gunfight on the border. I understand what you're a saying. A mile away from where I went. I under. I was there. I understand. That's not the question. The question is. Do we forget about that? No, I'm not forgetting about. It. I'm asking you to clarify where you get your numbers because most of the uh, DEA. Crime reporting statistics that we see show that drugs are coming across at the ports of entry, that illegal immigration is down, and the violence is down. Okay. So what do you base okay. your let facts me, let on? Me, come on, let's go. Sort and of, secondly... Sort of, uh, no, no, you get one. Uh, you get well, one. Well, the Ready? second Just question sit down. Is, Wait, sit down. Sit down. Could you, could you please sit answer? Sit down. You get one um, question. Uh, I please. get my numbers from a lot of sources, like Homeland Security, primarily. And the numbers that I have from Homeland Security are a disaster. And you know what else is a disaster? The numbers that come out of Homeland Security, Kirsten, for the cost that we spend and the money that we lose because of illegal immigration. Billions and billions of dollars a month. Billions and billions of dollars. And it's unnecessary. So your own government stats are wrong, are you saying? No, no. I use many stats. Could you I share those stats, stats with us? Let me tell you, you have stats that are far worse than the ones that I use. But I use many stats, but I also use Homeland Security. All right, next and question. And do you, wait a minute, just a quick uh, follow-up. No. Let's go, please. I use many stats. I use, I use many stats, right? See, that's, that, that troubles me right there because that was a good question, right? It was CNN asked the question, and and Trump shut him down, right? Acostas, and then 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 the follow up was the same question. He he, he brought up the the idea that undocumented criminals commit crimes at lower levels than Americans, right? Now that is a statistic you hear in the mainstream media, right? And it's based on, according to the fake news, <clears throat> is based on da. Uh, uh, DEA statistics and uh, national security statistics, right? Well, what is the statistics? Do we all have to be standing on the border to find out what's going really going on? Trump routinely calls it inv an invasion. He says that women with duct tape around their mouths, right? He uses this this vernacular all the time, right? Right? He says that um, right that that the statistics say that border crossings are at a near record low right but trump is saying the opposite trump is saying that that uh you know again you've you've, you've seen them that drugs are pouring across the country they're pouring into the border the ms-13 they're shooting and 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 chopping heads off right and he goes into this whole <clears throat> crazy dialogue about how much violence and how much insanity is on the border now there is there's one part of it right maybe it was always violent and trump is the first one to point out the 
the violence that mainstream media and probably Democrats have normalized over the years. That's that's a fair argument. But when the president of the, of the United States says, I use many stats, I use many stats, but refuses to reveal what the stats are, now we have a problem, right? Because what what is so what is so uh, bad about saying, oh, uh, well, I use this stat, and I have uh, a a source for that stat, and these are the statistics that I look at, and why can't you just share that with fake news media or share it uh, when you have the the mic open on the lawn and share those numbers that that everybody could see them rather than keeping keeping it a mystery because it is very shady. When you say that I use many stats and then you don't, you know, and it contradicts the actual stats that everybody else is is forced to depend, you know, forced to rely on, unless you're actually standing at the border seeing it for yourself, which no, not many people are doing that, right? So I, I call into question Trump's stats on this, uh, this, this, the wall crises. And this urgency, he's gonna he's going to call for a national emergency to address border safety, right? But he he doesn't his statistics that he leans on are in direct con- contradiction to the the uh, published numbers from the DEA from Homeland Security, and I I find I say that that. Uh, I use many stats is not is not sufficient evidence is not doesn't satisfy me Marcus Conti reporting